In today's video, I am going to show you how to get that Lux look for less. If everyone is here to celebrate one day We have our ups and downs But when there's love there's always a way And oh this time of year We come together to celebrate Yes every time the snow is falling down And it is cold outside We gather around the fireplace And no one cares about getting Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Cheryl. I love decorating with style on a budget and I love to try to make my home a lot more expensive than it really is. So if you love home decorating all on a budget, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell and become a member of the iStyle MyStyle family. So um, can we talk about the elephant in the room? Yes. Your girl is wearing red. So you guys know that for the holidays this year, I will be decorating using red and white. You know, my traditional colors or my color scheme that I always decorate with in my home is black and white. That's my go-to, it's my signature color. But this year, I am loving red. So I will be decorating my home this Christmas in red and white. And in today's video, I thought I would share with you some Christmas decorating inspiration all on a budget. So you guys know I love Pottery Barn, Crate and Barrel, and CB2. So I have been perusing their websites to get ideas on how to decorate. So I told you guys I am doing a Candyland, a Christmas Candyland, Whoville theme for my grandbabies. But I also got to thinking, you know, I really want to do a really nice, elegant, sophisticated tablescape using red and white. So with that in mind, I went, I'm sorry, I keep moving you guys. So sorry. So with that in mind, I went to Crate and Barrel and I was looking at their website and oh my gosh, guys, Crate and Barrel this year, they're also loving red and white. Who knew? Red is going to be the dominant color this year. Red, green, white, your traditional Christmas colors. That's what you're gonna be seeing a lot of, I believe, in my opinion, that's what I've been seeing. Leave me a comment down below. Are you seeing the same thing? Are you seeing something different? But red and white, it's trending. And I, I selected red and white last year. So I have some items that I picked up. Um, some of them are from our house, I believe, and some Crate and Barrel, possibly. I don't remember, guys. So I told you when I always shop after the holiday season to get the best deals. So last year, I knew my color scheme was gonna be red and white for this year. As such, I picked up red and white items along with um, candy related items that because I knew what my theme was going to be and that's what I always tell you guys if you know what your theme is going to be always shop after the sale so this year if you haven't done that in the past start thinking about it now like Christmas the holidays it all takes planning and we all want to do it and save a bunch of money or at least I do I don't know I can't be alone so at Christmas and the holidays takes planning. You plan a budget, you set a budget for those Christmas presents that you're gonna buy and you try not to go over, but if you're like me, you do go over a little dead. So start a Christmas fund. I always start a Christmas fund early. I start Christmas shopping early. Generally in October is when I start buying things. And as the Black Friday deals come up, they come earlier and earlier each year. That is the time that you buy. And it's the same with decorating your home for the holidays. Always buy your items after the holiday. That is when you're gonna get the best deal, the best price. Quantities may be limited. You may have to travel a little further to pick them up, but believe me, the money that you save will be well worth it. So I'm gonna show you some items that I picked up last year um, to decorate. I showed you some items earlier that I purchased in red and white for my Candyland theme. 
Um, and I have some things that I picked up from Amazon. You guys know Amazon is my go-to store. I have been perusing Crate and Barrel, Pottery Barn. I found, oh my gosh, I, I'm so in love with Crate and Barrel's Christmas decor. I will show you. If you look at the video here, look how pretty, oh my gosh. So they have a bunch of red and white ornaments. They have this really awesome mantle garland. The greenery looks so lifelike. And then they have these red, I guess they're cranberries, tucked into it and it's just flowing and draping down the side. Oh my gosh, so, so pretty. So I wanted to recreate something that give me that Lux look for less. You guys should know I'm all about the Lux look for less. So last year at Kirkland's, I purchased, let me go get it. Okay, so I got this really pretty garland from Kirkland's last year on clearance. And I don't remember how much I paid for it. I'll have, I'll have to pop it up on the screen, but look how pretty it is. Oh my gosh. And it looks identical to the greenery from Crate and Barrel. And this was a much affordable, much more affordable option. And I got not one, but two. And I also picked up this really pretty wreath. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's got like a little dusting of snow. So, so pretty. So again, I will put up on the screen how much I paid for this. But again, it was on clearance and it all came from Kirkland's. So guys. Whoops, always shop after the holiday. That's when you're gonna get your best deal and you can use those items the following year. You hear it's snowing here. <laughs> so these has like little icicles on this wreath. I don't know if you can tell that or not. Can you see that? So, so pretty, but it sheds horribly. Now, I told you guys, I already knew what my theme was gonna be last year. Um, so it was a Christmas, red and white. And I found, or I saw these on Joanne's website, again, after Christmas. And they're a little tangled up here. We'll have to detangle them later. But it's these really pretty ornaments, or ornaments, <laughs> really pretty stockings. Look how pretty these are. And they're a burgundy red color, and it says joy on the stocking. So, so pretty. So this has the gold detail on it, and you guys remember I was bringing in the gold brassy tones to bring that warmth into my home. And when I saw these last year, I thought these thought these were perfect and these will go really well with the elegant red um, Christmas theme I want to do as well. So yeah, in addition to the red and white Christmas candy land, I want to do an elegant sophisticated like table setting, tablescape, and just decorating in general. And you guys, I showed you in Sorry, I showed you in a previous video yesterday or a few days ago, these really pretty red crystal Christmas trees. They were from Rachel Zoe and I really wanted to pick them up and I was like, Cheryl, no, you don't need to pick them up. You don't need any more Christmas decor because you already have these. So I picked these up, they're not red, they're like, silver they look more kind of a crystally white sort of but they're crystals so there was no need for me to pick up the red ones even though they were so pretty and i want them i still think i can use these already have them saving money and it would still look so pretty so so elegant these came from home goods last year and it was $12.99 and I picked up a small, medium, and large, but I only brought up this medium one. So again, that I did not buy after Christmas because it was already at such a low cost, I went ahead and picked it up. But just know you can get those sort of things after Christmas, again, on clearance. So 
they would probably mark them down a couple of dollars. So you could probably pick that up for around three, not three, pick them up for $12.99, $10. It's generally what they would mark something like that for. Now, I also told you that I picked up some really pretty ornaments after the holiday from our house and they look like this. Look how pretty these are. I don't know if you can tell. It is a deep burgundy red color. Again, perfect with the stockings. Do you see the theme? This is where my mind was last year. And I think these would look so pretty together. So elegant, so sophisticated. I also picked up these really pretty crystal ornaments from our house. They were also a clearance find. I don't remember how much I pay for these, but I'm sure I have a budget, so it wasn't that much. If I can find the pricing, I will leave it linked um, down below for you. But these are so pretty. They look like little crystal ice balls. So I think they would be perfect with the red and white ornaments on my tree. And also, to go along with that, I found these really pretty red and white candles. Have a little bell on it, which is a bonus. I can use those for something else. But these came from Ross, and they were $10.99. And because of the size of this candle, you can see how substantial it is. I thought it was a great, great price. So I was able to locate three of them by walking around the store. So if you're looking for something like this, make sure you go check your local Ross. So we have to go ahead and do that theme. That was what I was thinking last year. And then I decided to do Christmas Candyland. I think I can do it all. Leave me a comment down below. Do you think I can do it all? I think I can do it all. My boyfriend may have a heart attack with <laughs> all this stuff coming out, but I think we can do it all. Now, also, I found, oops, sorry, these items, again, my theme was to be red and white, but I also found these, what are these, placemats? I think these are placemats, I can't see. Holiday Magic Collection. They go with the stockings. They're either placemats or napkins, but look how pretty this is. And again, it goes with our stocking. Again, all of this stuff I bought after the holiday last year because I knew I was going to use them this year. So I also picked up some red and white striped napkins. I knew my theme was gonna be Candyland, as well as these little fun plates for Christmas. So shop after the holidays guys that is when you're going to get your best deal now the thing with shopping after the holiday is you need to remember what you purchased because <laughs> i totally forgot about these stockings so we're gonna bring those out and also i thought would be really fun with these bows so i picked these up also from joanne and i figured i could use these in my Christmas Candyland theme or my Whoville. But again, these were on sale and I picked these up after the holiday. Now, the last thing that I picked up after the holiday, and then I'll show you what I picked up from Amazon, is <laughs> this cute little gingerbread girl. Look at her, isn't she so cute? So she came from Hobby Lobby. Again, I knew what my theme was gonna be this year. She was on sale at $13 and I wanna say 60 cents, 70 cents, something like that, uh, 13.76. I'll leave it in the screen, uh, down here on the screen. But isn't she so cute? And you guys, I showed you those DIY gingerbread men, a girl and a boy that I did the other day. If you missed that video, I will leave that linked in the description box down below in case you care to go check those out. It was very budget friendly, something that I drew myself free handed and just looked to Pinterest as 
looked to Pinterest inspiration on how to decorate them. And I just think they turned out so cute and it's pennies on the dollar. We used poster board from Hobby Lobby, it was 99 cents. And then I used discarded cardboard from my Amazon boxes. <laughs> you guys know I love Amazon. So of course I have a lot of Amazon boxes. But again, even though I have a lot of Amazon boxes, it's things that I bought at a very affordable price. Things that mimicked items from Pottery Barn, Crate and Barrel, CB2. And on that note, let me show you what I picked up from Amazon that's going to give us this Crate and Barrel look. The same look as this mantle that cost a lot of money. All right, so let me show you the mantle from Crate and Barrel once again. So pretty, so luscious. Sorry for the crackling. And again, we have our wreath that we picked up from Kirkland and set this over here. Again, it was on sale. So this is how our wreath looks. And to go along with it, sorry, open this up really, really quick. I was able to pick up these really pretty, it's a cranberry wreath to give us the same look for less. If I can untangle them. So I wanna say it's probably eight feet, six feet, something like that. And again, here's our wreath from Kirkland's and we stick our berries in and look guys the same look as our crate and barrel piece and I want to say this probably cost us $30 for the look $30 versus I don't know a couple of hundred from crate and barrel I'll pop up the prices here but again we are all about saving money over here and we want to get the Lux look for less. So if you want to get the Lux look as well for less, make sure you hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell and become a member of the I Style My Style family so you can achieve the Lux look for less. And if you want to do something similar like I'm going to do for Christmas, then this is the channel for you. So very, very affordable. Absolutely love it. Now, some other things that I picked up from Amazon. This is for my Candyland theme. I was going to kind of freehand some candy, but I saw, I saw these, these were like $9. And I think there's like, how many are in here? You guys know, I cannot see without my glasses. So let's see, uh, 24 pieces in here. So, for $9, you get 24 pieces. I thought this was a very affordable option and it looks probably much better than my freehand would be. So I picked these up for our Candyland theme. And also to go along with that, where did it go? We are doing a Candyland tablescape. So when I saw this, I thought it would be perfect. This was $9 dollars as well and if I can open it up how does this open there we go sorry guys sorry for the clicking so I saw this really pretty table runner and I thought it would be so so fun for my Candyland theme look at that so pretty nine dollars you cannot go wrong and i absolutely love the pattern so vibrant i know my little grandbabies are gonna love it so i'm gonna give you guys several different tablescape options so if you're liking what you're seeing make sure you give the video a thumbs up leave me a comment down below let me know how you are going to be decorating for this holiday season and is this video giving you some ideas and inspiration i'd love to know now to go along with our elegant theme, I found these really pretty plates. I don't want to take them out of the wrapping just 
yet but look how pretty these are these came from home goods they were nine dollars and 99 cents four plates so what is that 250 50 a plate two four six eight nine ten yeah 250 a plate so you cannot beat that very very affordable and i picked up two of these and to go along with that for my thanksgiving plate i saw these look how cute these are and i will be doing my thanksgiving fall tablescape coming up soon it'll be right after this video so if you want to see some tablescape styling inspiration make sure you subscribe tap the notification bell you don't want to miss any upcoming videos guys i have lots and i mean lots of christmas fall thanksgiving decorating it's just around the corner guys i told you november 1st that's when i'm going to start decorating so if you want to get some inspiration make sure you hit the subscribe button tap the notification bell become a member of the i style my style family All right guys so the next thing i want to show you uh, i was also inspired by something that i saw <laughs> from crate and barrel and they have some really fun, cute, and whimsical stuff that I thought would go great with my Candyland theme. And guys, so there were four pillows for $13. And as you can see on Crate and Barrel, these, did I say Pottery Barn before? If I did, I meant Crate and Barrel. But on Crate and Barrel, you see these range anywhere from 15 to 30 $30, $29.95, and look, so I got this cute little Santa. Oh my gosh, so it's like a velvety material, if you can see that on the back. So, so pretty, a high quality, guys, really high quality. So I got the Santa, and I got the little reindeer. Look at him. So similar to something that you would see from Craig and Barrel or Pottery Barn. Again, I got all four of these for $13. Guys, you cannot beat the price. Look at this. This one says, oh dear. So, so cute. And then the last one says, Merry Christmas. Guys, I give this five stars five stars four for thirteen dollars really and right now you can get 20 percent off so if you like these little pillow covers run to amazon and i will leave them linked in my description box down below and you can also find them listed in my amazon storefront and if you buy there i do get a small commission so thank you in advance for your purchase now the last thing i wanted to show you is this really pretty red throw. So they have something similar on Crate and Barrel and I'll put up a photo here and it was $49.95 and guys, again, we're getting the same Lux look for less. It's got the fringe detail, very, very soft, same sort of type of material, material and we got ours for $21.95, so about half the cost. And again, the same Lux look for less. So guys, I hope today's video has inspired you in your home decorating and how you can save money. If it's your first time here, welcome. As I said, my name is Cheryl. I love decorating with style on a budget. So if you have enjoyed today's content, but you have not yet subscribed, I would so appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell and become a member of the iStyle MyStyle family. I have a lot of fall Christmas content coming up, all budget friendly to give you that looks look for less. So if that's what you're looking for, this is the channel for you. If you have enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. It helps YouTube know that you're liking the channel content so they show it to more viewers because hey, we all want to get the looks look for less, right? So make sure you give the video a thumbs up and I hope to see you in the next one.